so John Jones and Daniel Cormier 3. It's definitely one I'm excited for. I think it's just the matter. The matter is if John Jones can stay clean or not. To me, no one's beaten him. He's already beaten Cormier twice, okay? Kicked him square in the head and beat him down the last time. And then, oh. It was a dick pill, supposedly. That's what Jones is saying. It, it was a dick pill, but performance enhancing drugs is what I'm pretty sure it came out to be. It was so disappointing. John Jones champion again, and I hear that within, I don't know, I don't think it was that long, probably like weeks. But Rogan knows what he's talking about. I know he's all about John Jones, though. We'll have to see what his opinion about three would be. He yeah. says that, you know, trying to make cash, man, so that'd be the best way to do it. But if he's not healthy, it's going to be an ass whooping for Steve. Yeah. Or he connects. Correct. That's or early on. But even Francis connected with Steve and Steve did not give a fuck. <laughs> That's how freaky he is. Yeah, he's tough as shit, which is more, more incredible even that DC took him out. So them offering Steve um, Black beat. I mean, Daniel Cormier is a beast, too. I remember kind of thinking Stipe might be one that might do the job, but other than John Jones. But Daniel Cormier came through. He is one tough son of a bitch. It's just. John Jones is like one of the best of all time and one of my favorite of all time, so. So you can tell they're not even thinking DC Steepy rematch. I know. DC's getting Jones Lesnar. That's that's it. I don't think Lesnar's fighting. I don't either. I think something. So I would like to see Cormier Lesnar. I mean, I think Lesnar could probably out wrestle him. I'd buy it. I'd What's going on there? I I would be willing to bet DC's last fight is that heavyweight. Against John Jones. Against John Jones, don't, and it's the biggest don't, fight don't, of all time. Don't, don't, That's don't. such a I like, and I'm a Brock Lesnar fan. I like, like, I like when he fights. He's such a freak. I celebrate yeah. the guy. I don't but, give a fuck. Let you stop hate Novitski. Go get a cup of coffee when Brock fights. I don't give a fuck. But when uh, when you talk about John Jones DC, that I mean, no one's even talking about Brock. John Jones DC. That's. The motherfucking fight. I think that's bigger than Connor Khabib too. I think it's there's so much history there. It's for yeah. fucking the heavy. And I it definitely is a huge fight, a huge fight. That's for sure. They're gonna be getting a nice chunk of money from it. DC DC probably pull off something goddamn crazy. Then he's gonna be the one. Doing coke and on steroids. Think at DC at heavyweight fighting John, the the gap narrows. Yes. At but at light heavyweight DC, it's not for you. At heavyweight though, and I think that's why John's kind of like I'll fight him. It has to be at light heavyweight okay. because DC does have some advantages at heavyweight. Now. But let's let's look at what they've done with TJ Dillashaw dropping him down to flyweight. Why can't DC do the same thing when he gets down to light heavyweight? What do you mean? Oh, you're saying what do you mean? Well, he struggles so hard to get down to light heavyweight that it fucks with his cardio, his conditioning. He just doesn't feel the same. He says it takes too much out of him. He feels so much stronger at heavyweight because he doesn't have to go through that weight cut. Big dude, man. That's him. No. No, he's got body fat on him. Got extra body fat that's not – it doesn't aid your performance. Now, when is he's at true, heavyweight, though, he doesn't diminish himself. Or is he a mesomorph where he's different because sometimes like a Fedor mm -hmm. or, or a Roy, Roy Nelson – if though you sh if you make those guys, I mean, I'd call him fat. He's pr pretty big. He doesn't look like the rest of the guys, all ripped out and shit. He doesn't look like John Jones. Dude's a little bit fat, a little bit tubby. Shredded. That's not in their DNA. Oh, They're not tubby. ectomorphs. That's not. You can't do that. But because we see guys like Francis and Gano, we assume that's you know what I'm saying. Like I think ectomorph is the like. Like Real skinny, skinny guy, super yeah. skinny. I you know what I'm saying? Mesomorph is what you're thinking. That's of. in the middle. That's what right. I'm saying. Though, like I think ectomorph, DC's a mesomorph. mesomorph. And endomorph is fat, right? Yes. Like, Where I think for DC, you like being shredded, his body doesn't function off. Well, that he doesn't level. have to be shredded, but he's carrying around so much extra weight. 
<laughs> like at, at, at heavyweight. Starching dudes. Well, he starts. Look, look at look at Cain Velasquez. He not starts shredded. two guys. He starts Stipe, who he just connected with a beautiful shot in the clinch. That's his skill, his wrestling. I think what's going on at heavyweight with DC is he's not weakened. Let him eat whatever the fuck he wants, and he's not weakened. I think that is critical for him. And I think when he gets down to light heavyweight, I think he's weakened. I think it takes something out of him. But I wonder. The man's a heavyweight, of course. Definitely makes sense. Just look at him. How much they could mitigate that with great diet and planning it out the same way Kalavit has done to, 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 to TJ. With TJ's, TJ's a goes, smaller guy naturally. 100%. 100%. But still, they leaned him out further to get him down to 135 pounds before the weight cut. I just don't think it's in uh, DC's DNA to be that lean. It's just not for him. Maybe. It's just not, you know? Maybe, but I think everyone benefits from scientific planning, meal planning, real analysis of your calories in, calories out, nutrients. I don't know. Maybe he does that maybe, already. Or some, some, I, I bet he does that some degree, but I, some guys I think do better where for, for a guy like DC where he just that extra fat and it's just that's his thing. I hope that they fight. If they do fight, I hope the first Look, fight is a heavyweight. That's what 100%. I hope. Look at Butterbean. Butterbean was looking like he was about to have a heart attack, you know, clogged arteries. He was so fat, humongously fat, but he knocked guys out one punch, you know. A good punch connects. Butterbean would have you knocked out. Roy Nelson, he was a UFC fighter. Fat, knocked guys out. He was he was okay. He had, he had a run there. It's just... It's just Fat guys out there do their thing, just like anybody else. Because we've seen the light heavyweight, because they've talked about doing it at light heavyweight. We've seen the light heavyweight John version. wants it at light heavyweight. Yeah. Well, John wants it at light heavyweight so that it never has to appear that he picked up a title when they took it away from the champ and they didn't earn it from the champ. And I get that, but how great yeah. would it be if you're John where, you know, most people clearly know he's BTC. Then you go to heavyweight and take that from him. It's just yeah. the ultimate fuck you. But I also think DC's a different animal at heavyweight. His power's he different. And John does get hit. And yeah. DC at heavyweight could land some shit. Yeah, that Stipe's would... not easy to knock out yeah. at all. No. Jones has to at least be able to sit comfortably at like 220, give or take, 230. I mean, the man is like six foot four or five at least, so it's pretty damn tall. So, I mean, he could be heavier too. He'd have to be. That would be the fight. But it's also probably be more comfortable heavier is what I'm saying. John Jones isn't a little guy. Like they get so emotional with each other. They hate like, each other. Out, they, yeah, DC fucking hates that guy. And that's why pay per view goes. Like that's what you want. That's what you heavyweight. You, it's hard to sell a trilogy at light heavyweight. July, July fourth. That's July fourth weekend. DC, DC versus John Jones, the heavyweight championship of the world. Champ, 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 champ. Boom, boom. I wish. Giant pay per view. Three million buys. Probably around there. Yeah. People, people it's a lot of pay per views. I wish it'd be this weekend. Good God. Is it this weekend? <laughs> wow. I'm watching it whenever it is. But yeah, there's a lot of, but it could, it could be done. And th th that's what's going to happen. Dana's going to make a, a offer they can't refuse. Well, we're in January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Six months from now. DC wanted to retire in March. I don't I, You know what? It's not going to be J July. He's not going to retire in March. He, got, he said his, for his, what, his 40th birthday, he's going to retire. Get out of here with that. That's why Steve Bates tweeted him. was like, dude, let's do this before you it's get out. Cormier did start old. I noticed that. He was like mid-30s when he started. So, when you're old, you're old. Like, comment, subscribe. We do all kinds of things, mostly hip-hop. I love my hip-hop. That's why we do mostly hip-hop. But... We like our sports, mainly f fighting and hip-hop. But like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Get out of here.